Hey guys, Yvonne here, and in this video, I want to talk to you about an upcoming Microsoft Ads change starting August 29th, 2022, where you will no longer be able to create or edit expanded text ads. So what to do, what to do. And in this video, I want to show you an alternative for how you can pretty much create expanded text ads using the responsive search ads, which is the format that they want you to switch over to. So create responsive search ads, kind of like the same change that Google ads underwent a while ago. I don't remember exactly how long ago, but Google had the same thing where you can no longer create text ads with Google and they switched over to responsive search ads. So in this video, I want to show you how you can create responsive search ads, but they will pretty much be just like expanded text ads. All right. So let's head over into our Microsoft ads account over here, and I'm just going to click on ads here. I'm not going to create a campaign from scratch just to show you the, the most important stuff. So we can pick anything, let's say free affiliate guide. Let's say we want to promote my website, my guide, right? So how do we create expanded text ads from this is the question. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do here. So let's start off with my site. Let's say yvonnemana.com. And now for the headlines, all right? So here's what we're going to do. Here's how you do it. So whatever you would put in your headline part one, you would write it here. So in this case, I would say, for example, free 55 page affiliate guide. And the key here is you don't want it to be random, right? So the difference between an expanded text ad and a responsive search ad is that with an expanded text ad, you can set exactly where you want each text to be. So it tells you headline one, what's your headline two, what's your description one, what's your description two. With responsive search ads, it, it's kind of all random. So Microsoft Ads is going to test and see what the best combination is of all the headlines you put here. But we can tweak it a little bit and we can still put what we want in our corresponding spots. So headline one, headline two, headline three, same thing with descriptions. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to utilize these pins right over here. So you're going to click on pin and I mentioned that I like to put my main headline, like the main keywords that somebody searched for in headline one, right? So we're going to select one and we're going to pin it to the first spot. So now Microsoft isn't going to test it in position two in position three and so on. It's only going to keep it in position one. Okay. So now for the headline two, I said, I like to add a call to action. So we can say something like get started now or get your free guide now. Right. And then over here, again, we're going to click on pin. We're going to say show in position two. And this is basically the idea, guys. So this is basically an expanded text ad we're doing here, right? We're just selecting a pin. So our responsive search ad is becoming an expanded text ad. Simple as that. And then for headline three, we do need at least three here, they say. So for headline three, I like to describe the product, you know, so in this case, I could talk more about the guide. So this isn't a bad suggestion, but I could say something like learn how to make money today, something like that. And now if we pin this to position three, now it's going to be position one, position two, position three, Microsoft will not test them out. Okay. So they will be in this order that you said here, which is basically the exact same thing as an expanded text ad. All right. So this is going to be our walk around our, um, what do you call it? Yeah. Walk around, right? And then for descriptions, we can do the same thing. Uh, descriptions are a bit more loose though, quite frankly. So you could kind of play around with them and have description one and description two spot like that's fine but over here let's say um, these are interesting suggestions but let's say something like you know get your free 55 page affiliate marketing guide today and learn how to make money online now you do need two descriptions right so over here the other one we could say learn how to make money online with a hundred percent free affiliate marketing guide or something like that. So for these descriptions, frankly, you could let Microsoft test them and see which one's better. But if you want to go by the expanded text ad version where you set description one, description two, you can go in pin and you can say, okay, this one's description one, this one's description two. Okay. So you can do that and you can do it this way. And this is basically going to be your expanded text ad guys, right? So same exact thing. There's no difference. And if we click save here, we should see it here. We should see it go live or let's know it's paused. So let's go into all ads. 
All right, so I finally found it, and here is the ad that we just created, right? So it has this headline one, headline two, headline three. And if you click on view asset details, it basically allows you to take a look and see which one does better. So you're gonna be able to see the impressions here. And then if you click on combinations, you'll be able to see all the different combinations. Now that said, in our specific ad here, we didn't do any combinations, right? So we just have like one version of each. Now, if you want to split test, you have two options. You can create another responsive search ad doing everything exactly as we did here. And the upside of that is that it's gonna be very easy for you to see the difference and see which ad does better, right? Because I actually don't believe that if you go to view asset details, I don't think they're gonna show conversions here uh, or combinations. So you could go to columns, but I don't believe they actually show conversions here. Uh, even if you go to performance, it only shows impressions, which kind of sucks, right? Because you can't actually tell which combination does better. So what I do suggest is actually creating another ad over here. Just create another ad. You can go down here, click save and create another. And then here you can change something up. So instead of get started now, you could say click here to get started, for example, right? And then this is going to be your second variation. And again, everything is pinned one, two, three, one, two. So it's basically an expanded text ad. And then here you have the two ads, right, that are live. And I'm not sure why I did three, but uh, you can remove one. You get the idea. So yeah, here is the other one. So we're just gonna go in and we'll just delete this one. But that's the plan. Uh, if you do get super lazy, what you could also do if you wanna try that combinations window under view asset details, what you could do is if you click over here, you can, like you don't have to create another ad. What you can do is you can just go over here and for example, instead of get started now, you can say click here to get started. You can do that. And then you can pin this to position two. And then Microsoft is going to alternate these two headlines, right? So everything else will be in position. It's just they're going to alternate these two, this one and this one. That's it, that's the only difference. So if you don't want to create a whole other ad, you can do it this way. But just so you know, I do think it's better to actually create another ad so that you can directly see the difference, see the click, see the impression, see all this data. Because if you just go on view asset details, you will not be able to see that, even if you go to columns and combinations. So that's it, that's what you guys do now that these quote unquote expanded text ads are gone. Now you just create the whole new set of expanded text ads using the responsive search ad format. And that is it, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.